Stay hey guys, tuned. we've got the uh, air conditioning. Let's start it again. Really? I was doing right it back. What's up, guys? How you doing today? And welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. Well, I got your attention. Like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications because Fridays we do free tool Friday, and we give away lots of stuff. Although the last last Friday we didn't do anything because um, we were short staffed because Nick was up in the Adirondacks playing uh, Smokey the Bear or something like that. You came up literally whoa up five hours after me. And Nick, who put a bar next to our house? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they put a they put a bar next to our house, and it's a uh, yeah, it's not a good, good time. Not good. Not good, because we spent a lot of time there. Yeah. I wouldn't have passed the breathalyzer there, for the Ooh. record. Well, I'll blow. I'll blow. I'll blow, I'll blow Joe. People think, there's pe people think I drink. I, I don't drink when I'm working normally. Okay. Listen to me. First of all, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, welcome our newest member to the J.D. Tico family. We hired another, another person, Vienna. She is a... Uh, a long-haired mini dachshund. Double and dapple. Double dapple. And she is an absolute hoot. Okay? Right. It's Nick's dog. So I don't even own a dog to this day. Okay? I don't know. I think Jasper's your dog. Well, Jasper's my daughter's dog, who's currently in Milan, Italy. Spends a lot of time in Italy, my daughter. Rough life. Nick, happy Memorial Day. That's not right. Thank you. That's all I keep on hearing is Happy Memorial Day. It's not. That's not the point of it. And you know, it, it makes my skin crawl a little bit when somebody says Happy Memorial Day. You know, because you know it, it's a somber day. You know, it's not really supposed to be like a celebrated day. It's supposed to be a day of remembrance. Joe, do me a favor when you get a chance. I sent you two pictures. Post them. My grandfather's best friend died in World War II. He talked about him. At my my grandmother prayed for him every day. Till the day she died, she said a prayer for him. His name was Anthony Cortez. And when I was, when we went to Normandy, Normandy in 2019, we were walking around, and I was telling the guide, I said, "My my grandfather's best friend died somewhere. I, I don't really know much about him, but I think he's buried here." She goes, "What's his name?" I said Anthony Cortez. Where's he from? New Jersey, Patterson. Oh yeah. She was like, right, "We can go. We can go visit his grave. I know exactly where it is." I was like, "What, Nick? Am I lying?" No. Within minutes. We walked up to his grave, and it was in, it was a very, very solemn moment in my life. Because my grandfather and grandmother talked about this guy every day. Okay, so it's not Happy Memorial Day. It's not thank you for your service. It's to pay respect for the people that gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Not like these this is going on in the world today. Because these people laid their lives down, and they would do it again like that. And so. uh, no, you'll never see a Memorial Day sale here. As long as I'm in charge, there'll be a no Memorial Day sale. And that's another thing, like you know, you've been doing that for years too. We us, yeah. We've never done a Memorial Day sale. Yeah, I, it was funny because like early on, like, we should. He's like, "Are you insane? No, we're not doing a Memorial Day sale." And he was right, and we never did, we never will. I'll do a labor. I'll do a sale today, tomorrow, the next day. I'll do a sale every day, but not Memorial Day. I leave that for for the harbor freights of the world to do that. I don't do it. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Let's talk tools because that's what we, that, that's what everybody is here for, Joe. Let me tell you something. Do you see my, it looks like a, a pile of Skittles here, Joe. A pile of Skittles. Okay. And it's a, it talk about a somber moment. I'll talk about a somber moment, Nick. What is this? That is the Trusty Cook Made in USA Dead Blow Extender. Okay. Have we sold a lot of these? Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's, the first thing they say is, what is it for? It's a dead blow extender. Use your, use your imagination. It's for hitting, say you want to knock a piston out of a cylinder. Reach down in there, tap, 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 right out. Instead of, instead of doing the old hammer, hand, hammer handle trick, there's a tool for it. This has a thousand uses. But, could you play taps? It's over, Johnny. They're not making these anymore. They're no. discontinued. And the reason why they're discontinued, everybody wants to know why they're discontinued. Why, why, why? Well, when I found out they were discontinued, I reached out, we, we sent an email, and we're like, why? We sell tons of them. And Nick Cook, Nick Trusty, Trusty. Nick Trusty said, you were the only one. <laughs> and he said there, is, there was a lot of, you uh, know. Let me, let me get to it. Oh, let me get to it. Sorry. That's right, buddy. So we said, well, how many do you have left? And he said, we had this many left. We said, we'll take them all, right? And then he says, we also have some blends. Yes. 
So what do we say? We'll take all those. We'll take all those. So we bought every one that was left in the country, right? right? And they sold very, very, very quickly. We have a decent amount of blems, but what you see for the the regular ones, that's all we have. How much are these? Uh, I, I'm not giving a price. You got to go on the app or website. I know they're going to be sold out. Yeah, you know what, guys? Let me let me get to that too. But these will be gone before you see this video, and this is probably going to go tonight. So, and but we should have some blood. This left. is the last green in the world. Yeah. So, get on our tool page, okay? Yeah, get on our social media. It's on Facebook, Snap on Mac Maco buy sell trade for mechanics, and we just broke two hundred thousand members on that page. Finally, finally, we were we were teeter. Well, we were we were up, we were up to one eighty at one point, and then Facebook did a shuffle. We lost like fifty thousand people. So we're back over 200,000. Yeah, Facebook cleaned house. Huh? Facebook cleaned house. Facebook cleaned house. So we're over 200,000 members. So we post fresh deals there every day, at least 10 deals. And when we get stuff in like this, that's the first place it goes and it sells out quickly. Now back to Blems. The reason why, we asked them why they were ceasing production. It's a five-piece mold. And they said on the average, one was good out of the five-piece mold. So that's not, ver not very uh, profitable. But I'm gonna talk to them, see maybe we, we could do a deal with them. Maybe average that. Uh, listen, I don't, want to, I don't want to discuss my personal business on here, but I am a trendsetter and I do stuff people nobody else does, and I have an idea. So we do have some of these that are blimmed. Right? They're not bad. They're really, they're, well this one, I mean like this one has a bad end on it. The first time you start beating one, it's gonna get a bad, it's gonna get a mark on it anyway. Some have very, very, very minor, like I don't even know what's wrong with this one. But it doesn't have a tag on it, so it's a blend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right there. It's a little, like, I mean, you can't even tell. So, we have... That's good on them, though. They want their, their product to be oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they want them perfect. But the, the blends aren't that bad. I mean, I... I'll, I like, like this, this has a mark on it. But it's not going to affect it. Now you're going to use that thing to beat anything you want. Yeah. So, we have, like, 10, 10 blends left. We sold a lot of these, man. Holy shit. And Trusty Cook makes the best hammers in the world. The world. I don't care what anybody says. And I don't leave in the comments below how, how Snap-on makes the best hammers in the world. Well, Trusty Cook used to make their hammers forever. And then Snap-on did what they do best. And they copy your idea and move it into a production, whether it's overseas or in America. I know their hammers are made in Alabama or some sh which might as well be, I should, I'm not going to say, I, might, I was going to say, might as well be, Joe beat that. <laughs> okay. Hammers. This is definitely the most popular hammer we sell. Absolutely. This is called the Stubby's Cousin. And I'll tell you why it's my personal favorite hammer. A, it's short. I like to choke up on it and get a nice little swing on it. Metal, okay? Dead blow. Soft-faced, hard-faced. The last hammer you will ever need. And it's available in green, blue, and ever so... Po I didn't grab a red one. Mm, I guess not. I didn't they also make a red one. Right? We yeah. have plenty of them in stock. Yeah. How much are these? Uh, $60. 60 bucks. I knew that. Okay? All in stock. When we buy hammers, we buy a lot of them. And they're not cheap to ship, too, so... Jump in there. Who okay. Who let you do a show on hammers? Huh? Who let you do a show on hammers? Well, somebody said I should... Bat I was reading my comments today. Somebody said I, sh I should bang the table more. I walked in and they were all there. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you the variation they have. Short... Ball peen. That's a bestseller. This one too? Yeah, the short, the, what are those, 43 ounce? 43 BP, yeah. Yeah, for, the 43 BP and the 43 BPF are very popular. I think those part numbers, I don't. This is a nice hammer too. And they have a great texture on, on the handle. It's a, like a pebble finish. It's not going to slip. You got greasy, grimy hands. Most of these are mechanics. If you're a landscaper, it doesn't matter. You can make it a silk handle. It's not going to slide out of your hand. Did you see CP's video? Watch CP's video. CP did a video. Him, his friends, him and his friends were out... In Iowa, God's country, and if you're world's greatest, the greatest state in the world, next to New Jersey. Listen, if you ask anybody from Iowa what's the best state in the world, they're going to tell you Iowa for a million different reasons. If you're from Iowa, you love Iowa. Iowa looked pretty nice. They went on a dirt bike. They went on a small motor ride. They called it like small motorcycles. Somebody had a Honda Fifty. There was somebody had a, an old 1964 Honda Dream 305. That 300. thing was sweet. That thing was sweet, and I'm like. And they, they rode they <clears throat> dirt dirt roads rode all day, had a couple beers you know when they stopped went to a bar set up tents camped out and came back. I want to go. 
Yeah, I think we're going to go next year. Yes! They're doing it again! He sent me an invite. <clears throat> i got to get a Honda Monkey. I'm going to get something really cool, man. That's going to be a problem. I'm going to buy this, something really, really insane. And CP rode a, a quad. Articat. Articat. And he looked like he had a blast. And that's what's that, and guys, that's what it's about. Going out and living life. This weekend, we went up to our house in the Adirondacks. What did we do, Nick? Uh, went canoeing. Went canoeing. Okay, you don't think I canoe? I own three canoes. And that was two a good kayaks. day. Huh? That was a good day. I had a blast, man. Joe, we, we could, did you ever canoe with a show? Yeah, Joe's canoed with us. He's oh, been to that show. spot with us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Joe, you gotta come back up. Okay, how about this one, Nick? The long handle. The long... I guess you gotta smack this shit out of my mother. Probably your least popular. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's a nice hammer, though. It is a nice hammer. And I was talking to Trusty Cook, because I, I have a relationship with them, because, you know, I think they... Well, actually, they, before we started buying from them, they, they were on our tool page. Yeah. We didn't even know. He kind of approached us to... He kind of approached us. And if you're watching us and you're a tool company, you want to sell us tools, reach out to us. We got you. Here at JTGO, we pay our bills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until one day when it's over, then that's something different. But for now... Yeah, we're going to fire sale everything then. You, yeah, then maybe we'll, use we'll, that to pay our bills. Maybe use that to pay our bills or escape to another, to another country. Okay. Nick, why, why are you telling me our secrets? Listen, there's secrets. I'm gonna tell you right that's, now. That's the thing about us. There's no secrets. My tool truck is broken down again, and before I burn it, the guys out there fixing it now. I'm gonna. Uh, <clears throat> the only reason why I'm still gonna keep the tool truck is because I want to buy a new car. And in order for me to buy a new car, <clears throat> it's gonna involve me working another couple more months in the tool route, even though I don't wanna. But it's the only way I can hang a carrot out in front of me to motivate me to go to work. How much? <clears throat> I think that one's like seventy bucks. Go on our Apple website. Trusty Cook has, has their own. Yeah, they're all available. The Trusty Cook has their own section. Yes. Right? Everything's listed there. And these are the world's best hammers. And if you guys want some other models, let us know. Because we just sell the, the steel face well, ones. Hey, 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 Nick, slow down. First of all, we have about 200 hammers back there. I'm, I'm worried about the floor, the floor dropping in. They're not. Oh, those, of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a lot. But if there's any specific yeah, models no, we'll, we'll for a special order, order, we could do that. Okay. Friday, Joe is going to be soloing at the store, so please call and ask any question you want. He is ready. No, please don't. <laughs> be nice. Unplug the phone. Yeah, I don't, I don't be, have the answers. Listen, listen, here's the deal. We're open from 9 to 5. If you're nice to Joe, if you're not nice to Joe, he's going to close at 12. <laughs> and maybe at 9.30. <laughs> He'll be fine. What's up guys, Joe here, and today I wanna to talk to you about an even though kind of faith. And this is something that I wish I had and something that I wish I understood a long time ago because it would have saved me a lot of heartache if I, if I was able to, to grasp this concept. But we find a lot of uh, examples of this type of faith in the Bible. The prophet Habakkuk wrote, um, even though the fig trees have no fruit and no gro grapes grow on the vines, and even though the olive crop fails and the fields don't produce grain, and even though all the sheep are are dying and the cattle stalls remain empty, you know, I'm still going to be joyful and glad because the Lord God is my Savior. And this is something that if we're able to hold on to, this will take us through whatever situation to get us to the other side, to get us through that valley. You know, it kind of reminds me of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego back in the Old Testament that um, the king was about to throw them in the, in the blazing furnace for not worshiping him and worshiping their God instead. But they said, no, King, even though you're going to throw me in a blazing furnace, I'm still going to worship my God and he's going to deliver us. Or if we fast forward to the New Testament, it's like Paul and Silas in prison that even though they're locked and chained up in prison in the middle of the night, they're praying and singing songs of praise. So it's like we have to have that mindset of even though bad things happen, I'm still going to praise the Lord. Even though bad things happen, I won't let my mind be lost to fill in the blank, whether it's depression, anxiety, I won't let my mind be lost to the enemy, to depravity, you know, so just keeping that in the front of your mind, knowing that Jesus Christ and just, and, and the use of his name can, can defeat all those evil, wicked thoughts. Um, it, it gives us something to hope for. So I hope you find encouragement in this today and I hope you have a great week. Stay blessed, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. He will be fine. Joe is a rock star. Hey, guys, when everybody else was sitting here with one thumb in their mouth, one in their mouth, waiting for somebody to say switch, what was I doing? Making stuff happy and cutting deals. Let me show you about the hottest new tool that we brought in, and we are already sold out. Next order is on the way. And when I tell you we went big, we went big. This is the handy clamp. 
very easy to use. Say you want to reach up behind a tight spot with a nut, you can't get your hand in there, just get the old uh, handy dandy thing. I, uh, I should have been set up for this job, but I wasn't. Now you can reach up with that nut in any tight spot. Just say, you had a, just say you had a lawnmower deck and you couldn't reach a top bolt and you wanted to get up there, you don't want to get grease all over your palm all soaked hands. You would get the handy clamp, put it in there, and don't worry, if you want, to put, you want if, we, if you felt better if we put Snap-on's name on it, I, I can get a decal and put it on there for you, honey. And just reach up there and get that screw started like Skeeter's Peter. This is the most useful tool in the world and I wish I would have had one of these a long, long time ago. This is made in China. We brought them over. Is that a lie? I was going to say, aren't they made in America? <laughs> these are made in America, proudly made in America. And I have entered into an agreement with, th with these people, and we have brought in our own line of these, and are going to be private labeled. They're going to be called what, Nick? The JDT Code Nut Grabber. The Nut Grabber! How do you like that, Joe? I like it. Catchy. It's catchy, right, Joe? I accidentally shipped their prototype yesterday. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to get these guys their tools. I was in a shipping, it was like a shipping frenzy around here yesterday. Nick, I think I'm gonna put a camera on you when you're shipped. What do you think? Because Nick's like a Nick's like a like a ninja. What do you think? What do you want to see? Just me click on stuff and then hit print? No, I want to see over here. Oh, over there? Yeah. What do you think? You do it? Yeah, I'm quick. Nick's quick. <laughs> Joe's like, let's go. Okay, so these are available on the app and website. So far, where do you have, where do you look at it on the app and website? I think I put them in our category. Do you need to go? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and they're twenty one dollars. Twenty one ninety five. Yeah. The, the nut grabbers will be here shortly. They're uh, getting produced, and they're going to be twenty two ninety five. Yeah, they're a dollar more. We had to change the price because so we, don't get, we don't get confused which one you want. Because somebody may not want one that says nut grabber on. They're going to want a handy clamp, right? Yeah. So we want to keep the masses happy. Twenty one ninety five, twenty two ninety five. It's only a dollar. It's not going to kill you. Speaking of money, let me tell you a little story, guys. We did. We, we did a deal. Listen, we did a. Uh, we sell a lot of tire inflators right so you know the thing with the problem with the tire inflators you got to screw the little thing on it's pain yeah it's annoying it's annoying and you gotta do it four times we're doing four tires so th th they came out with a clamp the people that have the grease the grease fitting the lock on grease fitting that's like i think it's a hundred dollars or ninety dollars or close something like I think that halfway if you know if you know in the comments below let us know but we sell this one for fifteen dollars yes and this works fantastically we've sold a lot of them. Yeah. Zero complaints. It's smaller for tight spots too. So if you need a JD Tico KY6870, 15 bucks during our, during our category. What am, I'm getting to a point here. You could buy two and it'll still be cheaper than the, the alternative. Exactly. Now when it comes to the, the tire inflator, they also came out with one of those. And I know, it's beautiful. It's an absolute work of art. But it's like 50 bucks, right? Or like 30 closer bucks? to $60. $60. And then you need to buy the adapter. Then you got to buy the adapter. So here at Jersey Discount, where we give you the D, the D's for discount, we found these, and this will go right on your tire inflator and clip onto anything there is. And we are doing these for $7 or two for 10. Yeah, something like that. Now think about it. When you pull out your compressor at the family barbecue and you have hot dogs on a grill because you want to, you know, you're saving money on, on food to buy tools and you're spending 60 bucks for a tire inflator, when you can spend seven dollars and eat steak it makes no sense and what i'm trying to make the point is stop being bougie don't worry about the label the snap on the mac or mackle a lot of this stuff is made in the same factories and you know you're paying a premium for that logo a lot of times so something that cost you 80 90 dollars is 60. that's only 30 dollars nick Where's that thing made? Hey, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in a thing. You know, $60, $15. It's only $45. $60, uh, $10, $20, $25, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
this tool being used, if it's serious, if it's funny, if whatever, anything you want to do with it around the house, on a car, send your video to us and we're going to use it. And if we use it, we're going to send you one of the hot new JD Tico hats that are coming in soon. Right? Yes. That was a perfect commercial. I did good. And how much is this? $20. $20. And this will bill your ass out a lot of times. Trust me. Malco locking grip pliers. These are the best pliers in the world. These, these things are works of art. They're amazing. I should, I should weigh a pair of these with a regular pair of ice cream and see the difference of weight. We're going to do that next time. They, they, they stopped making them because people weren't buying enough of them probably because they're very expensive. And how much is this? Uh, close to $60. Like $58, $59. Yeah, $59.95. different sizes. And Snap-on is close to 100 Yeah. It's the same pliers. Same factory. But they charge a premium. So, I mean, do you think this grip's any better because they put their logo on the side? It doesn't. It's the same thing. <sighs> All right, guys. Should we, wait, should we talk about the letter we got Which one? from Malco yesterday? The submit your tool idea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Malco, having, Malco, great company. We love them. You know, I, yeah, they're easy. Yeah, they're really good. Really good deal with. And uh, they had they sent the thing saying submit your tool idea and you can you know you win whatever I forget what it was you know whatever and they they they're three different thing, three different categories to win I guess or something like that. So I was like Nick, why don't you just send a picture to tell them to make these? <laughs> come on, there's gotta be a Malco. Come on, I think they need I to bring that price good. down a little bit and make a set that people would buy them. I mean, people buy these. You know, there's got to be... Malco, listen, first of all, I'm for hire. You can hire me if you need somebody to market. I, I am, I'm a marketing genius in my own opinion, in my own mind, in my own fantasy world. But I have an idea where we can, we can get back on track and make money with these things. I have an idea. And get them while we got them. We bought tons of them, right? Yeah, I think we could still get them. Really? Well, we still got some hats left. We still got some... Yeah, you buy a pair of Malco, we'll give you a free hat. All right, guys, I got to wrap this up. One, la one last thing. Let me, make, let me just go over my list, make sure I got, cut everything. Oh yeah, for, I want to get to that. Yeah, somebody commented on our thing about the, 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 the uh, giveaways because on a Q and A we were talking about the, doing giveaways, and somebody commented on it, and everybody's very positive. Not one negative person. The guy's like, just one one word of advice. He goes, I really wish you wouldn't give away TVs. He said because you know I wish you give away more tools, and I'm going to tell you why we give away TVs. I, I told him on a comment. The reason why I give, give TVs away is a lot of the warehouses we deal with as incentives to buy tools. I don't know why they send us what Nick. TVs. TVs. We've gotten 32s, 42s, 50. Uh, what's we want to know for? Just what? Yeah. 68 50, inch. Yeah, 50. It's insane. Or 62. I don't know. Yeah. Big. So I mean, we have every every room in the house has a TV in it. What do I gonna do with them? I, if I if I if I didn't give them away, I would look like a, I would look like a Best Buy. You know? And it's funny because we just gave away the last TV, and Joe's like, "Hey, I really wish I could have a TV to edit on." Instead of looking up at, like, at this. I go, well, Joe, maybe you should have said something before we gave the last one away. Right, Joe? Well, that was a nice time. Well, good, Joe, the, good news, the good news is, I'm sure by the end of the month, we'll have another TV, Joe. These are finally in stock. Again, these are our 3 8 ex extra long extended reach ratchet boots. This covers the whole shaft, not just the head. And this is how much? I think they're $23. I think you're twenty three dollars. Nick's distracted. <laughs> hey Nick, is it bring your dog to work day? <laughs> Every day, it's bring your dog to work day. All right, and listen, guys. I guess I should have. I, I, since it's summertime, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go extend it real quick. This is the Easy Red Emergency Tool Set, and let me tell you why everybody in the world should own this. How much is this, Nick? Thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. It's got every socket you're going to need, every bit you're going to need with a ratchet and a little screwdriver. Put this in your car, put this in your motorcycle, put this in your bicycle, your side-by-side, -side, or anything else you have. Because when you need it, it'll be there. On a bicycle, this thing would, would, will save your life, I promise you. I have one in my bike and use it all the time to tighten stuff. And it weighs very, very little because when you're on a bicycle, you need lightness. Buy it, it'll save your life. And there's not many of these left. We did buy the last of them, I believe. Yes. Is there more of these? No, there's more of them. Is there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have we, we do have a handful of these and we can get more, apparently. The other thing we bought them all. Yes, okay. Oh yeah. Guys, I'm out of time. We'll post these next time. We bought the last of the red back socks in the world. These are the world's best socks made out of bamboo. So if you're getting chased by a panda, take your socks off and throw it to them. Is that true? True story. They're made of bamboo. They're bamboo socks.
My, Why am I to you, Joe? No. I mean, but those might have to disappear. Joe, 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 I, Joe. I'll take it as a... Incoming. Oh, I, oh you hit oh the dog. Oh, my God. I think they'll, I think they'll sleep anyway. Yeah, she's fine. Listen, we're going off tracks. So guys, listen to me. I'm going to wrap this up and uh, get ready. We have more coming, and J.D. Tico will never stop. And what we do is we are the innovators in what we do. We're the first people to do this on this level. Nobody, We're the first. Not number two. And I have a lot of new stuff coming, so if I were you, keep your eyes open. Peace!